ancient Babylonian mathematicians working around 1800 BCE developed a method for calculating square roots that achieved remarkable accuracy without any modern computational tools. Their technique was so sophisticated that it forms the foundation of algorithms used by computers today. The Yale Babylonian collection contains a clay tablet known as YBC7289 that demonstrates this computational mastery. The tablet shows cuneiform numbers arranged in a specific pattern that reveals the Babylonians' understanding of geometric relationships. When archaeologists first deciphered these wedge-shaped marks, they discovered something extraordinary, an approximation of the square root of two that's accurate to five decimal places. The Babylonians didn't use our familiar base 10 number system with digits 0 through 9. Instead, they employed a sophisticated base 60 system that required a completely different approach to numerical representation. Each number was built using combinations of two basic cuneiform symbols, a vertical wedge representing 1 and a corner wedge representing 10. These could be combined to represent any value from 1 to 59, with position indicating powers of 60. This base 60 system wasn't arbitrary. It had practical advantages. The number 60 has many divisors, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60, making fraction calculations easier for trade and construction. This same system survives today in our measurement of time and angles, 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute, and 360 degrees in a circle. On the tablet, the Babylonians represented their calculation of square root of 2 as a mixed number in base 60, 1 plus 24 over 60 plus 51 over 60 squared plus 10 over 60 cubed. Let's break down what this means in modern terms. The whole number part, 1. The first fractional part, 24 over 60 equals 0 0.4. The second fractional part, 51 over 3,600 approximately equals 0 0.014167. The third fractional part, 10 over 216,000 approximately equals 0 0.0000463. Adding these components, 1 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.014167 plus 0 0.0000463 equals 1.4142133. The actual value of square root of 2 is 1.4142135623. So the Babylonian approximation differs by less than 0.0001%. This level of precision wouldn't be achieved again until much later civilizations developed more advanced mathematical tools. The Babylonians didn't calculate square roots as an academic exercise. Their civilization had practical needs that required precise mathematical calculations, and square roots appeared in several important contexts. For example, construction and architecture. Babylonian builders constructed massive ziggurats, temples, and city walls that required precise measurements. When building a rectangular structure, they often needed to know the diagonal length for bracing and stability. If a room measures 30 cubits by 40 cubits, the diagonal measures square root of 30 squared plus 40 squared equals square root of 2,500 equals 50 cubits. Exactly. But for dimensions like 17 by 23 cubits, they needed to calculate square root of 17 squared plus 23 squared equals square root of 818, which requires the square root algorithm. The Babylonian technique follows a logical algorithm that can be applied systematically to find the square root of any positive number. Let's work through this process step by step with complete explanations. To find the square root of 17, step 1. Identify nearby perfect squares. We need to find perfect squares near 17. Let's list some perfect squares. 1 squared equals 1. 2 squared equals 4. 3 squared equals 9. 4 squared equals 16. 5 squared equals 25. 6 squared equals 36. The number 17 falls between 16 and 25. Since absolute value of 17 minus 16 equals 1 and absolute value of 17 minus 25 equals 8, the number 16 is closer to 17. Step 2. Starting approximation. Since 16 equals 4 squared, our starting approximation is 4. We know that square root of 17 is slightly larger than 4. Step 3. Calculate the error. The difference between our target and our perfect square is 17 minus 16 equals 1. Step 4. Apply the Babylonian adjustment formula. The formula is square root of n approximately equals a plus n minus a squared over 2 times. a, where a is our starting approximation and n is our target number. Square root of 17 approximately equals 4 plus 17. 
minus 16 over 2 times. 4 equals 4 plus 1 over 8 equals 4.125. Step 5. Verify the accuracy. Let's check. 4.125 squared equals 17.015625. The actual value of square root of 17 is approximately 4.123105625741. Our approximation, 4.125. Actual value, 4.123105625741. Error, absolute value of 4.125 minus 4.12310562.5741 approximately equals 0 0.001894. Percentage error, 0 0.001894 divided by 4.12. 31056 2574 1 times 100% approximately equals 0.046%. This is remarkably accurate for such a simple calculation. Let's try another example. Finding square root of 69. Step 1. Identify nearby perfect squares. Perfect squares near 69. 7 squared equals 49. 8 squared equals 64. 9 squared equals 81. Since absolute value of 69 minus 64 equals 5, and absolute value of 69 minus 81 equals 12, we use 64 as our closest perfect square. Step 2. Starting approximation. Since 64 equals 8 squared, our starting approximation is 8. Step 3. Calculate the error. 69 minus 64 equals 5. Step 4. Apply the formula. Square root of 69 approximately equals 8 plus 69 minus 64. Over 2 times 8 equals 8 plus 5. Over 16 equals 8.3125. Step 5. Verify the accuracy. Let's check. 8.3125 squared equals 69.097656625. The actual value of square root of 69 approximately equals 8.3. 0662386292. Our approximation, 8.3125. Actual value, 8.306623862292. Error, approximately 0 0.00588. Percentage error, approximately 0.071%. Again, excellent accuracy with minimal computation. Now let's try square root of 23. This example demonstrates how the method handles cases where the nearest perfect square is larger than the target number. Step 1. Identify nearby perfect squares. Perfect squares near 23. 4 squared equals 16. 5 squared equals 25. Distances. Absolute value of 23 minus 16 equals 7, and absolute value of 23 minus 25 equals 2. Since 2 is less than 7, we use 25 as our closest perfect square. Step 2. Starting approximation. Since 25 equals 5 squared, our starting approximation is 5. Step 3. Calculate the error. 23 minus 25 equals negative 2. Step 4. Apply the formula. Square root of 23 approximately equals 5 plus 23 minus 25 over 2 times. 5 equals 5 plus negative. 2 over 10 equals 5 minus 0 0.2 equals 4.8. Step 5. Verify the accuracy. Let's check. 4.8 squared equals 23.04. The actual value of square root of 23 approximately equals 4.79583152331. Our approximation, 4.8. Actual value, 4.79583152331. Error, approximately 0.00417. Percentage error, approximately 0.087%. The method works perfectly even with negative adjustments. Advanced example, finding square root of 111. Let's try a larger number to see how the method scales. Step 1. Perfect squares near 111. 10 squared equals 100. 11 squared equals 121. Since absolute value of 111 minus 100 equals 11. And absolute value of 111 minus 121 equals 10. We use 121 as our closest perfect square. Step 2. Starting approximation. Since 121 equals 11 squared, our starting approximation is 11. Step 3. Calculate the error. 111 minus 121 equals negative 10. Step 4. Apply the formula. 
Square root of 111 approximately equals 11 plus 100. 11 minus 121 over 2 times 11 equals 11 plus negative 10 over 22 equals 11 minus 10 over 22 approximately equals 11 minus 0 0.4545 approximately equals 10.5455. Step 5. Verify the accuracy. The actual value of square root of 111 approximately equals 10.5356537529. Our approximation, 10.5455. Error, approximately 0.0098. Percentage error, approximately 0.093%. Even for larger numbers, the method maintains excellent accuracy. The Babylonians achieved their legendary five decimal place accuracy for square root of two through iteration, repeatedly applying the algorithm using each result as the starting point for the next calculation. Step 1. Nearest perfect square to 2. The perfect squares are 1 squared equals 1 and 2 squared equals 4. Since absolute value of 2 minus 1 equals 1 and absolute value of 2 minus 4 equals 2, we use 1 as our closest perfect square. Step 2. Apply the basic formula. Square root of 2 approximately equals 1 plus 2 minus 1 over 2 times. 1 equals 1 plus 1 over 2 equals 1.5. This gives us 1.5, which is our first approximation. Let's check. 1.5 squared equals 2.25. So we're overshooting by 0 0.25. Second iteration, refining the estimate. Now we treat 1.5 as if it were the square root of some perfect square and apply our method again. Step 1. Treating 1.5 as our base. If 1.5 were exact, then 1.5 squared equals 2.25 would be our perfect square. Step 2. Calculate the adjustment. Our target is 2, but our base gives us 2.25. So our error is 2 minus 2.25 equals negative 0.25. Step 3. Apply the formula square root of 2 approximately equals 1.5 plus 2 minus 2.25 over 2 times. 1.5 equals 1.5 plus negative 0. 0.25 over 3 equals 1.5 minus 0. 0.08333. Approximately equals 1.41667. Let's check. 1.41667 squared approximately equals 2.00694, which is much closer to 2. Third, iteration, step 1. Using 1.41667 as our base. 1.41667 squared approximately equals 2.00694 step 2. Calculate the adjustment. Error 2 minus 2.00694 equals negative 0.00694. Step 3. Apply the formula. Square root of 2 approximately equals 1.41667 plus negative 0.00694 over 2 times 1.4. 1667 approximately equals 1.41667 minus 0. 0. 0.00245 approximately equals 1.41422 fourth iteration continuing this process square root of 2 approximately equals 1.41422 plus 2 minus 1.41422 squared over 2 times 1.41422 approximately equals 1.4142135. After four iterations, we've achieved 1.4142135. The actual value is 1.4142135623. The clay tablet shows 1.4142135. We've matched the precision found on the 4,000-year-old clay tablet. The Babylonian algorithm's effectiveness can be understood through several mathematical lenses. The geometric understanding of the Babylonian method provides intuitive insight into why it works. When finding the square root of a number s, we can think of s as the area of a square whose side length we want to determine. Step 1. Starting with a known square, we begin with a perfect square of area, a squared, which has side length a. Step 2. Accounting for additional area. The difference b equals s minus a. Squared represents additional area that needs to be incorporated. Step 3. Redistributing the extra area. We can think of this additional area as forming an L-shaped region around our original square. To approximate the new side length, we redistribute this L-shaped area as two rectangles. Step 4. Calculating rectangle dimensions. Each rectangle has one side of length a. 
matching our original square. If the other side has length x, then the total area of both rectangles is 2 times a times x. Setting this equal to our additional area, 2 times a times x equals b. Solving for x, x equals b over 2 times a. Step 5. Finding the approximation. Our approximation for the side length becomes a plus x equals a plus b over 2 times a. This geometric approach shows why the method works. It's redistributing area in a way that maintains the fundamental relationship between a square's area and its side length. The square root algorithm wasn't developed in isolation. It was part of a sophisticated mathematical framework that the Babylonians used for practical problem solving. Let's work through some complex examples that demonstrate the method's versatility and power. A Babylonian farmer owns a triangular field with sides measuring 40, 50, and 60 cubits. What's the area? Step 1. Apply Heron's formula S equals 40 plus 50 plus 60 over 2 equals 75. Area equals square root of 75 times 75 minus 40 times 75 minus 50 times 75 minus 60 equals square root of 75 times 35 times 25 times 15 equals square root of 984,375. Step 2. Calculate square root of 984,375. This is challenging. Let's find the nearest perfect square. 990 squared equals 980,100. 995 squared equals 990,025. 1,000 squared equals 1 million. Since 984,375 is closest to 990,025, we use 995 as our starting point. Step 3. Apply the Babylonian method, square root of 984,375 approximately equals 995 plus 984,375 minus 990,025 over 2 times 995 square root of 984,375 approximately equals 995 plus negative 5,650 over 1,990 approximately equals 995 minus 2.84 approximately equals 992.16. Step 4. Verify 992.16 squared approximately equals 984,381 which is very close to 984,375. The field area is approximately 992 square cubits. Today's computers use essentially the same algorithm, with some optimizations for digital arithmetic. Modern processors implement the Babylonian method in hardware for speed. The algorithm appears in calculator chips, graphics processing units, mathematical software libraries, scientific computing applications. Modern implementations include optimizations like Better initial guesses using bit manipulation. Parallel processing for multiple calculations. Specialized hardware for floating point arithmetic. The Babylonian square root algorithm represents one of humanity's most enduring mathematical achievements. Developed nearly 4,000 years ago by mathematicians working with clay tablets and styluses, it demonstrates computational principles that remain optimal by modern standards. When you next use a calculator to find a square root, Remember that you're participating in an unbroken tradition of mathematical thinking that stretches back to the very beginnings of recorded civilization. The clay tablet may have given way to silicon chips, but the underlying logical structure remains unchanged, a remarkable testament to the enduring power of mathematical insight.